Meanwhile, the national distribution of Trace Together tokens resumed today in limited fashion only at Marsling Community Club. It's the first collection venue to resume after distribution was suspended yesterday. Well, the temporary suspension was to make way for a new mode of distribution where new collection venues will be open one constituency at a time. There were reports of long queues at some community centres last weekend with people having to wait for about 45 minutes. The remaining 107 community centres in other constituencies will be progressively opened for token collection within this month and December. Collection is not a one-day affair and will continue until the end of the year. Residents should also be collecting tokens from the CC of the constituency they live in. The schedule for collection is available on the Token Go Where website. Joining us now to share more on the new distribution exercise is tech editor Irene Tham. Hi Irene, what were some of the problems in the initial rollout and what caused them? Um, well, I mean, initially, Trace Together, or in short, TT tokens, were distributed at 38 community centres. It has been ongoing for six weeks already, and uh, the government said uh, that it would cater to all walk-ins. So people have been slowly collecting, you know, um, the long queues had not descended on the community centres yet, um, until after last Tuesday's announcement by the COVID task force, that checking in with the TT token or app for contact tracing will be mandatory at almost all venues by the end of this year as Singapore prepares to enter phase three of its reopening. Um, the real problem is people do not know when they'll be produced, right? I mean, what is the timeline for, for a scheduled collection? And um, for children and get grandparents who wants to catch a movie in November or December, for instance, this is a school holidays, they'll need a token. This, this, this could explain the mad rush. Hmm. And uh, yeah, and we also don't know, you know, if there are any other enthusiastic venues besides um, cinemas, which uh, may switch to the TT, to the Trace Together check-in system way ahead of the end December cutoff date. So there are a lot of uncertain elements here, which is why people feel that they, they better get the token first and fast, right? The target is to complete a distribution exercise by end of the year. Now, with the current situation and confusion, like uh, you mentioned, Irene, do you think we will be able to meet this target, keeping in mind that the conditions to meet Phase 3 depend on this? Mm. Um, okay, I think supply may not be an issue. It's communications with the public and also when the scheduled rollout will take place across venues, right? Um, well, unless factories suddenly malfunction, you know, um, and tokens are not available. So um, I don't think supply is the issue. It's communications. And the, another issue is the misaligned timelines of token distribution and uh, the trace together check-in rollout at venues. It seems like the government has put the cart before the horse when it announced mandatory use of the system at venues, even before anyone and everyone who needs the token had the chance to collect their tokens. So I think there needs to be proper communication with the public on the, the timelines for um, for uh, Trace Together rollout at these venues where it's required. Right. Well, thank you so much, Irene, for setting aside time to speak with us. We were speaking to tech editor Irene Tham on the resumption of the Trace Together token collection. Now, you can read more about this at straightstimes.com.